Hey guys, I uh, just bought a new device. It's a Geiger meter from Soex. Uh, it's a brand new device, and I think it's their most expensive model. Uh, it has like other models have like uh, uh, two one tube for measuring uh, radiation. This one has two, one here and one here, so you get like measurement on both sides. So that's that's why I bought this uh, model. And you can hear see here that this is the left tube and right tube. They're like get, uh, turning on, turning off. And I just, uh, I'm not uh, living near any radiation, but I just wanted to measure my house because apparently the bricks were emitting radon and we were not sure. But I measured it today and I always had like, feel that I feel kind of sick in this house, you know, but uh, everything is like cool but uh, haven't seen any increase in uh, radiation so that is a big plus and and uh, I, I think this device is pretty good like you did I didn't get any big fluctuations like I was driving around to another town and it went on exact spots in my car, it went to 0 09 and then I go over the hill and it jumped to 0 0.12 and uh, SV per hour uh, and uh, that's that's really big plus, I, I went in drive the same route uh, two times and it showed the exact pretty much similar radiation so this is really safe radiation and uh, 0 0.144 and there's nothing to worry about but uh, in the next few days or weeks I'm gonna go to our near our nuclear power plant and I'm gonna measure around if those people get any blasts of radiation <laughs> where they live in the vicinity of nuclear plant uh, here you can also you get a plug and uh, this is the box it looks pretty nice but I already teared it here so the quality is really poor the box teared up and it came from Russia and I have to pay like um, import taxes so that's a big minus uh, and here you had like two books you got this uh, yeah when it was sold and everything it just uh, and let's go into the settings uh, I, I really like it like the screen is pretty cool and the battery lasts long I, I'm playing around for now for like a few hours and I don't see any decrease in the batteries you get two batteries and you put them inside so this is really nice because the batteries are not integrated and we, if you're not using the device for a long time you can pull them out like here oh it, no it doesn't I thought there's a lead inside so and here you just uh, take this off and put this mini USB you can plug it directly to your laptop and this is really cool I have other EMF meters and the battery is always integrated and you cannot charge it through USB so this is something new but you know like the technology improves like, every few years and, and those EMF meters are like two or three years old so like like I just said like uh I always try I try to test the old uh TV you know the big chunky TVs cathodes uh and the radiation really increased and I read about those 
TVs that they emit some kind of uh, radiation to, like a small amount. And uh, that's the only way I could uh, raise the uh, amount to over 20. It still wasn't fatal or dangerous. But you can see, like, nothing else increased uh, this uh, meter. And it's constant, like, it doesn't fluctuate. It's I saw on other models from SOAPS uh, the radiation uh, fluctuates from 0 0.08 to 12 in just a few seconds and this is like pretty constant 12, 13, 11 and if you drive with a car you get like slowly different values and on same spots, same areas uh, of the city I think it's, I don't know if how how professional this is but you know like technology improves and you can pack a big machine in a small box I don't know uh, and I just really like two, two tubes and you have like bigger possibility to measure the radiation because you have two tubes inside so let's go through the menu quick and this is like up and down button, up and down, and this is like you turn it on just pressing this for a few seconds and we go, this is the measurement where we were right now then we go down, accumulated dose in 2 hours 35 minutes I measured and you see the battery is still okay and I got 0 0.38 UCF so that's okay and we get data this is also cool you can plug this uh, machine to your computer and you can uh, monitor it like for one or two days or longer I think uh, you can turn off the display or something so it constantly monitors the radiation then you can get a graph in your laptop okay and that is data information I don't know what it is, it's just uh, the program I think, the firmware, 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 <laughs> sorry, uh, oh, this address, <laughs> telephone number, settings, language, first of all I just got and it was in Russian so I was able to change the language from Russian to English without using any uh, without using any uh, uh, manual when I picked up this device from the post office and here you can set the minimal uh, radiation uh, threshold when you're gonna get like uh, alarm you can set it up to 0 0.3 etc etc and the dangerous radiation starts I think around 1.2 uh, and you can go back exit radiation dose you can set this one too exit sound you can change volume tone I like the second one the most buttons I don't know what is this sensor I think something on display I guess threshold okay screen oh you can set the screen off brightness okay when you measure for a long time it's better to turn off the screen so uh, apparently you can measure uh, the radiation for like a few days I guess this is data on time on change I don't know I haven't figured this out yet and that's it time you can set the time when I got the device the time was off so I changed the clock year month day and alarm you can set it as alarm <laughs> and measurement, oh this is where we first were and you see it's like now it's 0 0.16 so it flashes a little bit but it doesn't go crazy up and down so uh, that's my quantum 
And like I said, I measured the old TVs, big bulky TVs, and it went over 20, 24, I think, or even 30. I'm not sure. Uh, so here I can I can read again what is the certificate of conformity. What is that? Here's like some kind of certificate. <laughs> Just a copy. And uh, allow those. Let me read. Do, 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 do. Measuring. Oh, here. Oh, I don't know where is the... I think it must be somewhere here. The allowed amount of radiation that is not... Hmm. Where did I see that? Standing berries? Yeah, here. Zero point four. Zero point four to one point two sewitals. Uh, you get alarm, high radiation, and from one point two upwards, you get dangerous. Okay, so I was always so 0 0.4 is the dangerous, and I was always here around. But the T, when I put it close to the TV tube, like it went up, up over 0 0.25 or 30. I'm gonna do another measurement just with TV. Just this is just the first day that I'm using the device. So thank you very much and visit my website, you can buy my DVD, it's very cheap, uh, how to protect your home and uh, your family against uh, harmful radiation, electromagnetic fields, etc. Thank you, good luck, love you all.